Leather products are great because they often age in a way that reflects who you are and how you live your life. And this is no different for phone cases. A month ago I unboxed the leather case by Apple for the iPhone 7 Plus, and I've been using the case as part of my daily driver and some of you have been asking about how it's been aging and changing as I use it. So here's my update of the iPhone leather case one month on. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. The iPhone leather case is made of genuine leather that wraps around the case and it has a soft felt inner lining. Now the first thing to note when you pop it on your phone is that it's actually quite slippery. I feel like part of the reason you buy a case for the phone is because of how slippery the aluminium finish can be. So in that regard it doesn't actually improve things a terrible amount, but at least you've got some protection now in case you do drop it. Over the last month, I've dropped it a few times from waist height and the phone shows no signs of any wear and tear. The case however has since picked up a few scratches and scuffs here and there, but overall it's managed pretty well. That being said, even after just one month, the leather is starting to settle in and grippiness is starting to improve. And it definitely isn't as slippery as before, but it's nowhere near as grippy as my old iPhone 6 case. But I think over time it'll continue to get more and more grippy. Now as with the old iPhone 6 leather case, the iPhone 7 case ages in a very similar fashion. The edges are beginning to darken as it's constantly being rubbed whilst inside my pocket. Back when I had the iPhone 6s, I used the brown leather case for it and the dark sides gave it a nice characteristic look. And I think the same effect applies to the iPhone 7 Plus. The effect is subtle right now, but I think as with most leather products, it'll continue to develop over the next few months to year. It'll give it a nice characteristic look that I think is quite personable. Otherwise, the inner felt lining has been doing a fairly good job of keeping the phone safe from any potential dust scratches, and the buttons remain really nice and tactile, which is something that I couldn't say about the old iPhone 6 case. So there we have it. The one month update of the iPhone 7 Plus leather case. It's not the cheapest form of protection, but it'll protect your iPhone with style and if it's used consistently, it'll eventually become a personal reflection of how you live with your phone. So what about you? Do you own an Apple leather case? Or do you own a different type? How has yours been aging? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button and if you're keen to see my other videos, do subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.